second.
Hi. You're you're muted. Let me unmute you. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Thanks. Good. Sorry, my computer's audio is like um, the output speaker is like really messed up. You probably heard that noise. Oh, that's that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No worries. Yeah, it's really bad, but it'll be. Um, Obviously, you'll just hear me. You won't hear my computer when I'm talking back to you or anything like that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so do you have a yoga mat or a towel? Yes, um, I have a mat and I'm on a okay. carpet. So, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, and then if you need to have like water near you, if you want to light a candle or incense, I lit some incense. Um, okay. The ambiance. Cool. You want to. Yeah. I'm going to grab some water. I'll be right back. And then, um, do you have a yoga block by any chance? Uh, no, but okay. I can use like a, a textbook, something thick. Okay. Yep. I'll get that. Okay. That would work. Thanks. I'm not sure if we'll use it, but I just want to have it on the side just in case cool. uh, we do pose that utilizes it. Okay. Okay, great. Awesome. So, um, are you ready? Yes. Okay, great. So let's come onto our mats and let's come down into child's pose. So you can take this with your knees together or you can separate your knees, bringing them as wide as your mat bringing the big toes to touch and taking your sits bones onto the tops of your heels and then extending the arms out long, forehead comes to the mat. Take your time and, do it right. and let me real quick, um, just mute you. Sorry. Sure. So coming into your child's pose, Gonna take some breaths here. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose, filling up in the lungs. Breathing out through the nose, contracting, air coming out. Breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the nose, maybe reaching forward a little more or deeper stretch through the shoulders. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And just take several more breaths here in child's pose. Trying to really ease out in this pose. Make it easeful. There's nothing to really hold on to here. And so physically we want to let go of what's not needed, but also mentally. So for this practice, we're gonna try to focus on the physical asanas or the poses and our physical breath, which is in our body. So we're really gonna be focusing on our bodies, trying to focus on our bodies in the present moment, and not really worrying about the things that may concern us later in the day or in the week. We're really trying to stay in this current moment. That's what mindfulness is. And yoga is a mindful practice.
Don't need to do lists, anything that's on your head that doesn't serve you at this moment. Just let it go. And just focus on your breathing. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And check that there's a good amount of space between your fingertips if they're spread out wide through your hands. But they're lightly gripping the mat right now so that your knuckles are lifting off, creating space. And really feel that stretch through your shoulders. Feel the stretch and the openings through the hips. And during this practice, it's really important that you listen to your body. So even though I might suggest to do something or tell you to do something, always listen to your body first. If it doesn't feel right, it's probably not right. So definitely ease off of it and come to a seated position or come to this child's pose. Yoga is about honoring your body. It's not about beating up your body. So just honor that today. I invite you to take a few more rounds of breath here. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Last one, breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the nose, exhale. On an inhale, we're gonna come up onto all fours in the tabletop position. So we're gonna have our wrists stacked under our shoulders and our knees are gonna be stacked under our hips. So just breathe here and look down at your hands. Are your fingertips spread still? Are your knuckles lifting? If they are, they should be getting a little bit white through the middle part of your finger. So just check that, see if that's all set up. And then once you're ready, we're going to inhale, look up, tuck the tailbone up, and exhale, round in, tailbone tucks down, chin to chest. Inhale, gaze up. I call this one cat, some people call it cow. And then exhale, chin to chest, tailbone tucks, cow, and some people call it cat. So either way, inhaling, looking up, the tailbone lifts, and exhaling, tailbone tucks, chin to chest. So just follow your own breath for a few rounds of these cat cows. Breathing in and gazing up and exhaling, rounding in, chin to chest. Take two more at your own pace. When you're ready, come back to tabletop. So coming to a neutral spine, flat back. On an inhale, we're going to lift the right arm up, gazing up at the fingers. And then exhaling, we're gonna thread it underneath the left arm, 
coming down into the right shoulder and the right cheek of the face. And we're just gonna let everything drop here, except the hips. The hips are gonna stay lifted. We're gonna gaze over to the left of our mat. So you can either leave your arm pressed into the mat or you can bring it behind your back for a half bind. Either way, choose which variation with your top arm and then stick with it. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. On an inhale, if you had your arm behind, return that hand to the mat and press up back into tabletop. All right, so from tabletop, we're gonna take this on the left side. So we're gonna inhale the left arm up, gaze up at the hand, and then exhale. We're gonna bring it underneath the right arm this time, coming down onto the left cheek, bringing that left shoulder onto the mat, easing over to the right of our mat. So again, drop everything down except for your hips. Keep those lifted. You can keep the top arm pressed into the mat or you can bring it behind you into a half bind. So choose whichever way is best for you and gaze over to the right of your mat. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. On an inhale, if the arm is behind, come down onto that palm and press up back to tabletop. Um, so if you need any space in front of you, we're gonna start extending our arms out. So maybe if you need to back up a little bit, um, if you have like me, I have a door in front of me. So I'm gonna back up. So what we're going to do is we're going to inhale, lift the right leg, and we're gonna flex through that back foot. I'm not sure, I don't think you can see that, but my toe is facing downward. And then we're gonna inhale the left arm out, and our thumb's gonna be pointing up towards the ceiling. And just breathe here and hold this. See how it feels to have to bounce here. Any adjustments you need to make. Make sure that you're gripping the mat with your fingers and your right hand. And that you're really pressing into the top of that left foot. On an exhale, release the hand and knee back to the mat. And then we're gonna take this on the left side. So, well, kind of like left and right, but we're gonna start on the left. So inhale the left leg up to hip height, flexing through that foot so that the toe is pointing towards the floor. And inhale, extend the right arm out, thumb facing up towards the ceiling. Breathing here, feeling this bounce. Gripping through the fingertips, through the left hand, pressing into the top of that right foot. Breathe one more time here. And exhale, return the hand and the knee to the mat. Coming back in the tabletop. So we're gonna take some hip circles here, just kind of loosen up through the hips and through the wrists. So we're gonna start inhaling and exhaling, circling the hips in one direction. 
You can go all the way around in a full circular motion. Or you can kind of sway back and forth and in a semicircle. So whichever way feels best for you, do that. Sorry, I don't know what that was. I think that might've been the heater. <laughs> And then if you're doing the full circle, go in the opposite direction. So reverse your movement. Remember to breathe. And when you're ready, come into stillness. And then for me, I'm gonna make a little adjustment where we press up to down facing dog. All right, so from tabletop, we're going to tuck the toes under. And we're gonna lift the hips up, coming into our first down dog. And the chest is going to press back towards our thighs. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, easing in between the feet. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. So for downward facing dog, you can keep your heels lifted as much as you need to. You can bend through the knees if necessary, or you can have your heels and your legs straight, your heels can be down on the mat. Let's take another breath here. And on the exhale, look to your hands and jump or walk in the middle of your mat. We're gonna come into ragdoll, so we're gonna separate the feet about one fist distance. So your fist, put that in between, about that. We're gonna come into a forward fold. And we're really gonna bend a lot through the knees. Um, we can bring our chest onto our thighs here. And just let everything go and drop down. Release all of the tension. You can shake the head yes. You can shake the head no to further release tension there. Inhale, grab opposite elbows, creating a box around the head. Follow your breath, sway gently side to side. You can close your eyes here. You can gaze at your knees. When you're ready, you can exhale, drop the hands down to the mat. And on an inhale, we're gonna to begin to rise up, coming to extended mountain pose. So inhaling those arms up and overhead, gazing up at the hands or at the ceiling. Maybe inhaling, taking a small little slight back bend here. And on an exhale, we're going to bring the palms to heart center. And we're going to come into our mountain pose. So for mountain pose, it may look like we're just standing here, but there's a lot going on. Um, so first, you can keep your feet in this position, or you can bring them together to touch. We're going to be squeezing the thighs inward. So hugging them together, even if they're not physically touching. I'm gonna tuck the tailbone down, lift the belly button in and up, engaging the abdominal muscles. 
We're gonna press the shoulder blades together, down and back. And our gaze is going to be forward. You can keep your eyes open and gaze gently. Or you can close your eyes here. And also remember to always keep a little, little tiny bend through the knees in whichever pose to protect the knee joint. It's always super important. And try not to grip on the toes. If you notice yourself doing that, try to see if you can lift them up and then put them back down. Maybe grip less. It's taking a breath in through the nose and out through the nose. In through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And on an inhale, open your eyes if they were closed. And bring the arms up and overhead, gaze up, extended mountain pose. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift, shoulder blades draw together. And then exhale, we're gonna step back down to our downward facing dog. So coming into our down dog, remembering to keep the hips lifted. The chest is pressing back towards the thighs again. Our ears should be in between our biceps here. We should be really pressing through the palms and then gripping through the fingertips so that they're curling off the mat. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. On an inhale, we're gonna hover the knees above the mat, bending into them. And then exhale, we're gonna press back up. Downward facing dog. Again, we're gonna inhale, bend the knees, hover them off the mat. And then exhale, pressing back up, down dog. And then maybe walking out your dog here by uh, bending into one of your legs and straightening the other on an inhale. And then exhaling, bending the opposite leg and straightening the opposite leg. So maybe do this if it feels good to you. Otherwise, just stay in down dog. This is really helpful. Walking your dog out is really helpful if your hamstrings are tight. So it helps to loosen them up. And I think it just feels good. So when you're ready, come into stillness. On an inhale, lift the right leg up to hip height and then bend open and fan the hip open here. Trying to stack the hips, flexing through the right foot. On an exhale, release the foot down to the mat. On an inhale, lift the right, uh, the left leg up rather, and then bend through that knee, stacking the hip, banding the hip open, flexing through the left foot this time. On an exhale, return the foot to the mat. On an inhale, Lift the right leg up and exhale, send it through in between your hands towards the top of your mat and come into a low lunge. So for your low lunge, you can stay lifted here. So keep the knee lifted or you can bring that knee down to the mat and come onto the top of your foot. So kind of do whatever you need today. If you need a little more oomph, a little more fire, you would call it. Uh, keep that knee lifted. And if you want to be a little bit more easeful, then drop the knee. And just breathe here in your low lunge. Trying to maintain a 90 degree angle. 
in the front leg. On exhale, we're gonna plant the left palm and we're gonna inhale and open up the right arm to the sky. Easing up at the right hand if you can. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Making sure that hand, the top hand is active here and spreading. On an exhale, return the palm to the mat. Then we're gonna inhale and we're gonna start to straighten the right leg, coming into a stretch here. We're gonna flex through the right foot. And that will just allow for more of a stretch through the hamstring here. So breathing in and breathing out, gazing at your toes. Breathing in and breathing out. Try to maintain as neutral of a spine as you can here, having a somewhat flat back by lifting your heart up. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out, folding over at the leg, maybe bringing your nose to your knee or towards your knee. On an inhale, we're gonna step back up to our low lunge. And then exhale, we're gonna bring that right leg back to meet the left and press back up to downward facing dog. So take a breath in here and a breath out to reset. On an inhale, we're gonna lift the left leg up. And exhale, we're gonna send that foot and the leg in between our hands at the top of our mat. Coming into a low lunge on the left side. You can keep the knee lifted here for more fire, or you can drop it down, coming onto the top of the foot. And remembering in the low lunge to keep a 90 degree angle as best as you can in the front leg. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out, gazing at your foot. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, and on the exhale, planting the right palm down to the mat and inhaling the left arm up, gazing at that left hand. Breathing in, breathing out spreading through the fingertips, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out, maybe twisting a little more, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in one last time and exhaling, returning the left hand down to the mat, then on an inhale, we're going to begin to straighten the left leg. And we're going to flex the left foot here. For more to stretch through the hamstrings. So we're going to breathe here. Easing at our toes and the left foot. Trying to maintain a neutral spine, somewhat of a flat back. And so to achieve that, we're gonna want to have our heart lifted up a little, not caving in, folding in. And just feel that stretch.
Breathing in through the nose. And out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose. And out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose. And out through the nose. And you can begin to fold towards your left knee. Your nose can come directly to your knee or just towards it. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. On an inhale, we're going to come back into that low lunge position. Then we're going to exhale the left leg back, coming to our downward facing dog. And just take a few breaths here, resetting. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And on an inhale, look at your palms and then travel to the middle of your mat by hopping or stepping up there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, gaze up. Exhale, bring the palms to heart center. All right, so we're gonna do some bouncing poses here. I'm gonna do a few. So to start out, we're going to do eagle pose. Um, so for eagle, it's a little different if you've never done it before. So you're gonna bring the right arm under the left and you're going to bring your palms together here. Um, I'll come a little bit closer so you can see better because it's kind of hard to show. Um, you want to have your elbows in line with your shoulders and you want to come to, so like if I was um, like a 90 degree angle. And then if you can't do that, you can always just go like this or you can give yourself a hug. So pick whichever arm variation you're going to do for eagle. Let me just readjust here, sorry. So once you have your arm variation chosen, we're gonna start to bring that weight into the left standing leg. So bring a little micro bend into it. And then bring your right leg over your left thigh. So squeeze those thighs together. And then maybe just kickstand your foot here by flexing through it. And maybe wrapping it around the left calf. Breathing in and breathing out, bending into the left knee. Breathing in and breathing out, tucking the tailbone down. And on an exhale, release out. Maybe shake through the legs a little bit. Loosen up. All right, then we're gonna take it on the left side. So we're gonna do the opposite of what we did with the arms in the first place. We're gonna bring the left under the right and we're gonna clasp the hands together at the top. Um, ideally, you would want the palms to be touching like in prayer position, um, but not everyone could do that. Even I can't do that yet. Um, so do whatever your body does. And if you can do this arm variation, like I said, Bring the palms together like this, coming to 90 degrees, or give yourself a hug. So either way, come to your arm variation. And then start to bring the weight into your uh, right standing leg. And just check that your foot is facing the top of your mat, that your big toe is facing 12 o'clock, like on a clock, if anyone still uses clocks anymore. Um, then we're gonna lift the left leg up. We're gonna cross it over the right leg, squeezing the thighs together. And then start to bend into the right knee. And pick a gaze point to gaze at. 
might be somewhere in front of you. It might be your arms, it might be your own body. Breathing here. Tucking the tailbone down. Maybe bending slightly more. And on an exhale, release it out, shake it out. All right, so then we're going to do um, another pose that is bouncing. Um, if you need to give yourself some space, we're kind of going to be like widening out here. So go ahead and do that. At a yoga studio, it'd be different, but you know, we're all in our homes. There might be furniture in the way. So just want to give you a heads up. So we're going to start to bring our weight into our left standing leg and also make sure that your foot is facing forward at 12 o'clock. We're going to inhale the right leg up, bring the knee up, bring it to 90 degrees. And then you can either grab hold of your right knee or you can reach down and grab your big toe, extend the foot out, the leg out. So take whichever variation you feel comfortable in. And on an inhale, we're going to walk the right leg out to the right and send the left arm over to the left, gazing to the left, breathing in, and breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And on an inhale, we're going to bring it back to center. Then we're going to take that left hand, so keep the knee lifted and grab that right knee, just kind of gently place it there, and then bring the right arm back, twisting to the right, breathing in, and breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. And on an inhale, return it to center, and then let's extend that leg out, bring the hands to our hips, and just hold our leg here for a few seconds. Breathing in through the nose, and out through the nose. And then release that foot down. Let's shake that out. So that's a lot of strengthening through the standing leg. Probably would have felt it down through your hamstring, through your calf muscles. All right, so we're gonna take it on the left side. So we're gonna make sure that our foot is pointing 12 o'clock, that our big toe is pointing straight ahead. We're going to bring our weight into the right standing leg, little micro bend through that leg, and then inhale the left leg up to a 90 degree angle. And then either grabbing the knee or bending down, grabbing the toe, extending the leg out. And then exhale, walking the left leg over out to the left and inhaling the right arm out to the right, gazing to the right, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, maybe gazing at the right hand. Breathing in, breathing out. On an inhale, bring it all back to center, keep that knee lifted, and then bring the right hand to that left knee and bring the left arm back, twist to the left. Breathing in, and breathing out, looking past your left shoulder. Breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. On an inhale, bring it back to center. 
And then still keep that leg lifted, extend the leg out, bring the palms down to your hips. And just hold your leg here for a few seconds, continuing to breathe. On exhale, release it out, return the foot down, and then let's shake it out. Bending through the knees, maybe shaking out the top body, kind of swaying side to side. A little dance here. Maybe bring arms up and overhead, wave them overhead. Maybe rain it down, come into a forward fold, swaying side to side. Then inhaling, bring it back up, wiggling a little bit. And then let's come into stillness. We're going to come into tree pose. So give me one moment. I have a heater on down here and it's very hot. I'm sorry. Okay. I was like, why am I getting so sweaty? I'm not even really moving that much. The heater. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with our right side. So we're gonna bring the weight into our left standing leg. And again, like the other poses, we're gonna want our feet at 12 o'clock here, the left foot. So just start to shift your weight into that leg, a little micro bend. And then you're either gonna leave the right foot on the mat, you can leave it planted here. You can bring it to your ankle, you can bring it to your inner thigh, you can grab that ankle, grab the foot, bring it up. So pick your variation, just don't put it on the knee joint. It's not a good idea. And once you're ready, inhale the palms to heart center. And pick a drishti, a gaze point to look at for this pose. For the gaze point, we're really just gonna wanna look at that point because that's gonna help us to bounce. So once you've picked your drishti or gaze point, you can inhale the arms up, grow your branches, come into your tree pose. So there are some different variations that you can take here. You can bring your palms together like I am, or you can clasp your hands and you can bring the palms up towards the ceiling. You can take steeple, which looks like a church or like you're shooting a gun, I guess, if you're pointing it that way. <laughs> um, you can also take goalpost or goddess arms. So choose whichever variation speaks to you right now and breathe in your tree. It's okay if you fall, if you come out of the pose, you can always come back. Exhale the shoulders down. Inhale, the palms to heart center, and exhale, releasing out. Then maybe shaking it out here. It's a lot of weight that we've been putting into our legs for these poses. All right, so whenever you feel comfortable to stop shaking it out, um, let's start to bring our weight into a right standing leg. So again, the foot's gonna be at 12 o'clock, straight ahead little micro bend through the knee. And then either the foot's gonna stay planted on the mat, it's gonna come to your ankle, or you're gonna grab that foot and ankle and you're gonna bring that up to your inner thigh. So choose whichever variation is best for you. And inhale the palms to heart center. And gazing straight ahead, find a drishti point. Generally, it's best to choose a point that isn't moving. So don't have that be your dog or something like that, or your cat. Breathing in, breathing out. On inhale, grow your branches. Maybe taking a different arm variation this time. You're choosing goalpost arms, your shoulder blades are drawing together here. Breathing in, breathing out. 
Breathing in, breathing out. Remembering if you fall, that's okay. And on an inhale, bring the hands to heart center. Exhale, release it out. And then shake out the legs. There's a lot for us to do. All right, so then we're gonna come down to the mat and we're gonna take child's pose once again. So, like I said in the beginning, you can keep your knees together or you can bring your knees as wide as your mat or any variation in between. And then just come down onto your mat and really let it go. We did a lot of movement in the first half of our class, so just be grateful. We got the hard stuff out of the way. So we can come into a more relaxing sequence. Be grateful that your body can move in those ways. We often don't really acknowledge how wonderful our bodies are until they can't operate the way they had. So breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. One more in breath and out breath. And on an inhale, we're gonna rise up and we're gonna come to a comfortable seat. So you can go cross-legged or you can come into what is called thunderbolt pose. So that your knees are together and your sits bones are on top of your heels. So just come up to a seated position. I invite you to close your eyes maybe. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, relax the shoulders down. Breathing in through the nose, and out through the nose. And on an inhale, gently flutter the eyes open, bring the arms up and overhead, gaze up, and exhale, bring them down to the mat. On an inhale, bring the arms up and overhead, gaze up, and exhale, bring the arms down to the mat. Breathing in, arms go up and overhead, gaze up. Exhale, bring the arms down. Inhale, arms go up, overhead, gaze up. And then exhale, we're gonna bring the left hand down to the right knee. And the right arm is gonna go behind the body coming into a twist to the right. Trying to keep the heart lifted here, trying to keep a neutral spine, so staying uplifted. Breathing in, breathing out, twisting a little more. Breathing in, breathing out, twisting gently. Breathing in, and breathing out, twisting a little more. Breathing in, breathing out, gently twist more if you can. And inhale last time, exhale, return to the center. Inhale the arms up and overhead, gaze up, and exhale, bringing the right palm down to the left knee this time, and bringing the left arm behind your back, twisting to the left. Breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in, and breathing out. Trying to stay uplifted here, keeping a, a neutral spine. 
although you're twisting. Breathing in and breathing out. Gently twist further if you can. Breathing in, breathing out, twist a little deeper. Last inhale and exhale, return it to center. We're gonna inhale the arms up and overhead, gaze up and exhale, return the palms to the mat. All right, so now we're gonna come into hero pose. So for hero pose, we're going to have our knees come together and we're going to have our feet out on each side of us. So if you can bring your butt down to your mat, that's great. And if not, we're going to use a block or a book, whatever you have handy to sit on top of so that we can reach that. So if you're using a block or a book, you're just going to stay here and just breathe. And if your butt can reach the mat, then we're gonna take this a little bit deeper. So you have two options if your butt, well, actually you have three. Um, if your butt is here, you can just stay here. If this is enough of a stretch for you, um, we're trying to stretch through the hamstrings so they're in the top of your thighs. So you can stay here and breathe, or you can start to walk back onto your forearms. This is an option. Or you can come all the way down onto your back. Do it gently, cautiously, carefully. And that's the deepest position that you can be in, having the deepest stretch. So choose whichever variation is best for your body. And just breathe here. Breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in through the nose, and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose, and out through the nose. And on an inhale, if you're down, start to slowly come back up out of hero. And then we're going to bring the legs out in front of us. We're going to come into staff pose. So we're going to flex through the feet, keep a little micro bend through the knees here. We're really going to lift up through the chest. And then we're going to bring our palms next to our hips. We're going to bring the shoulders down and back. And just breathe here, gazing at your toes. Maybe seeing if you can spread through the toes here. It's not keeping them clenched together, spreading them apart. And just feel how it feels in your legs. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. On an inhale, bring the arms up and overhead. And exhale, folding forward, grabbing whatever you can. If you can grab your feet, that's great. If not, you can grab onto your shins, grab your ankles, whatever feels right to you in your body. You feel any tingling or anything like that, um, ease off. That's not what we want. We're not trying to hurt our bodies here. If you need an added stretch, you can wrap your hands around your heels, around the arch of your foot. And if you can't reach your feet, maybe bending through the knees and then grabbing your feet and bringing your head on top of your knees. And then maybe slightly working to straighten the knees a little bit. Not fully because we're not trying to hurt ourselves. 
but just slowly working the feet towards the top of the mat, very slightly. Breathing in and breathing out. Maybe walking the feet forward a little more. Breathing in and breathing out. On an inhale, we're going to come back up. And then exhale, we're going to bring our backs down onto the mat. We're going to set up for bridge pose. So for bridge, we're going to keep our feet planted about hip distance apart. And our feet are going to be facing 12 o'clock, just like they usually have been. And you're going to want to touch the back of your heels with your fingertips. And that's where you will know that they're in the right spot. So just see if you can graze the back of your heels here. And once you can do that, we're gonna shimmy the shoulder blades together underneath of our back. And you can keep your hands down on the mat or you can clasp the hands together. And then start to lift up through the hips, really squeezing the thighs together, kind of feeling like you're pressing a block in between your thighs and your legs. And you can even physically take a block or your textbook, whatever you have, and you can put it in between your knees. And then you can press up into your bridge. And that will remind you to keep pressing together. Breathing in, and breathing out. Your chin should be tucking slightly into your chin. Or into your neck, rather, sorry. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> breathing here and breathing out. When you're ready, coming down to the mat and taking the block away, if you had one. And then bring the soles of the feet to touch and letting your legs just spread out to the side, letting the knees drop down, just letting gravity do the work here. And we're gonna bring one hand to our belly and one hand to our heart. And just take a moment of gratitude. A moment to thank your body for today. To thank your body for its capabilities. And I invite you to thank yourself for showing up today. During this time, I know a lot of people are slipping into some habits where they don't feel like moving and getting up because they really have no reason to. And that's really a bad thing to have such sedentary lifestyles. We need to be moving. We're humans. And I know a lot of people don't like to be reminded of this, but we are technically animals. And we didn't start out, um, you know, sitting in front of computers and driving cars all the time. We traveled around, we walked by foot for miles and miles, and we don't do that anymore. So we have to do something else. So just take another moment to thank yourself for showing up to your mat, for doing something healthy for your mental health, for your physical health, and just for you, for your self-care. All right, then when you're ready, we're going to plant the feet into the ground again, bending through the knees. We're going to start setting up for a shoulder stand. 
Um, so you can either take shoulder stand or you can take legs up the wall pose. Um, so if you have a wall and you have space, you can just bring your legs up the wall. Um, that's a lot more of a restorative, gentle um, yoga pose. And the shoulder stand is a bit harder because you have to keep your weight, um, keep yourself lifted up with your arms and your back. All right, so take, um, I'll just show you. If you're gonna do legs up the wall, so you're gonna bring your butt up to the wall and then you're gonna bring your legs up the wall. It's very simple. Um, for this pose, you can bring your arms out to a T that's very restorative. And then if you're gonna take shoulder stand, you're gonna stay on your back with your knees lifted like that. Sorry, I'm just adjusting. These pants are not nice to me today. And then you're going to bring your legs up and back. So you're gonna start coming off of your back, coming onto your shoulders, and then you're gonna bring your hands to your lower back, to your hips. So kind of press, squeeze in through your um, hips here. And then you're going to rise, bring your legs up and overhead. I like to point my toes here. I guess you can also flex them if you wanted to. Um, it's not necessary either way. Just making sure to stare up at those feet and at the legs if you're doing shoulder. And then you can bring the legs back into plow pose. Either your feet are gonna touch the floor or they're not. And then you come into deaf man's pose. So you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna bend your knees and your knees are gonna come towards your ears or your forehead. So just breathe here in whichever pose you chose. Maybe feeling the work or not feeling the work. Maybe just letting gravity take hold of you here. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And then last one, last full breath in and out. And then on an exhale, just slowly come down, just be very careful. And then we're going to start to come into a little more of a restful series. So we're gonna extend the left leg out and we're gonna draw the right leg into our chest. And we're gonna bring that right leg over to the left and bring the right arm out to the right and just gaze over to the right, coming into a supine twist. Breathing in and breathing out. Really trying to keep that right shoulder on the mat. And if it's coming off, maybe twisting a little less. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. On an inhale, bring the leg back into center. And then exhale, extend the right leg out. Inhale the left leg in. And squeeze it into the chest. And then exhale, bring it over to the right. Gaze to the left, extending the left arm out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Remembering to keep the left shoulder down on the mat as best as you can. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. 
When you're ready, inhale the left leg in and then inhale the right leg in. And just hug your knees into your chest. Maybe rocking side to side gently. Breathing in and breathing out. When you're ready, we're gonna send the legs out long. We're gonna come into Shavasana, which is rest pose. We're gonna bring the right foot out to the right edge of our mat and the left foot out to the left edge of our mat. And then we can bring the palms facing down on the mat alongside our body to get grounded here. Or we can have our palms face up for receptivity from our openness, inviting new experiences, new opportunities, new people. Whichever way, choose your palm variation. I think right now a lot of people are choosing to feel grounded. But maybe some people also want to have that openness. So either way, choose what's best for you. And then in Shavasana, our corpse pose, rest pose, whatever you want to call it, we're just really going to try to let everything go. Let all tension in the body go. Anything you've been holding on to. Maybe you have some tension in your shoulders or your neck, maybe in your jaw, around your forehead, your brow furrow. And just try to loosen that up. You can do it yourself. If you're holding on to the tension, you can identify it and agree, let it go. And if not, if you really can't let go of the tension yourself, just try to breathe into that area. Just really feel how it feels to have that tension there. And just acknowledge it. Don't try to change it. There are only so many things that are within our control. Sometimes we can't control that, sometimes we can. And we have to be okay when we can't control something. Just start to focus on your breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Maybe feeling how that breath feels to you. What does the temperature feel like when you're breathing in and when you're breathing out? What sensations do you feel in your chest when you're breathing, if any? And what do you feel in your belly? When you're breathing, do you feel anything? Just acknowledge that, place your attention on that. We're really trying to tune in with our bodies and our breathing. Really trying to let go of the to-do lists and anything like that if you were in the beginning of the practice.
any random thoughts that you're having come up are totally fine. It's how our brain works. It's normal. Just when you've acknowledged it, when you notice it, just bring your attention back to your breathing or back to your body and how it's feeling. Maybe feeling the breath in the mid and upper back. Maybe feeling the rib cage expanding as you breathe in. Feeling it contract as you breathe out. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And on an inhale, we're going to start wiggling through our fingers and our toes. Just start bringing some slight movement back into the body. Maybe some movement through the neck, rolling it from the right side to the left slowly. On an inhale, we're gonna bring the knees into the chest. Just hug them in. On an exhale, we're gonna turn onto the right side and just come to rest here for a moment. Resting on the right bicep as a pillow. Breathing in and breathing out. And on an inhale, pressing into the palms to bring you up and come into a comfortable seat. Maybe cross-legged or a thunderbolt like I was doing earlier with the knees together. So just come to a comfortable seat. Try to keep a neutral spine. Trying to keep the head stacked above the pelvis. Above the spine in a straight line. Then I invite you to close your eyes here. Inhale, the palms to heart center. Exhale, out through the mouth. Let it go, side out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, side out. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, side out. So just take a moment to think of something you're grateful for today. Maybe you're grateful that it's sunny out and bright. You're feeling a little more energized today because of that. Maybe it's that springtime is really arriving. It's getting really nice out. Maybe it's that you hear the birds chirping and that sound makes you happy. Whatever it is, just acknowledge it. Maybe it's just that you showed up to your mat today and that you tried. That's something to be grateful for too. So take another moment to think about what you're grateful for. And on an inhale, we're gonna bring the palms up to our third eye and between our eyebrows. We're gonna open up through the palms to allow the light to come in. And breathing here. Recognize the divine and light in each and every one of you. I thank you for practicing with me today and sharing your practice with me and just coming to your mat on a Tuesday morning, that's really great. 
Inhale. Exhale, we bow together. Namaste. All right, guys, we're done. Thanks for practicing with me. Um, let me unmute you all. Thank you, that was great. Okay, great. It. Sorry, it went a little a little long. I'm just looking at the time, it's like 12, 19. Hopefully you didn't have too much going on. Nope. <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Some people, um, you know, have classes and stuff like that, or a lot of people are working now, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Luis, how was it? Ellie, I've got to the end. It, so. You like the end? Yeah. Well, yeah. I only was able to. Oh, you only did the end. Yeah, because yeah, you were taking your test. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, but it was great. Good. As much as I did. Uh, yeah, that was like the relaxing portion, which I know you like. So, so that's good. <laughs> um, well, anyways, I'm glad that you guys could show up and that you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it's great. Um, Thursday, we're having kind of a de-stress day since finals are coming up. So I'm teaching yoga at two o'clock if you guys are available. And if not, that's okay too. And there's a lot of other events going on during the day. So there should be, um, I think someone's teaching mindful movement at 12 o'clock and then there's some meditation sessions going on in the morning, um, but that should be posted online. Um, okay, well, I'm going to get going because I have to uh, start setting up and getting myself looking appropriate for a virtual interview. So, wish me luck. <laughs> okay. Thank you. See you upstairs. Yeah. All right. See you. Thanks for coming. Bye.